All right, guys. Hey, we're here back with another video. And today we're talking about Disney's All-Star Movie Resort. This is a basic resort in the Disney property. It's, it's the cheap one of the cheapest hotels you can get at Disney property. So I wanted to stay here, kind of see what you get out of here compared to some of the other, you know, medium or more deluxe resorts that are sitting in Disney. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech. Fantasia room we were staying at before. There's the pool area that we were in front of yesterday. Coming around this way. Here is the giant 101 Dalmatians area. Look at those giant statues that they have over here. They have all the dogs there on the room. And we're coming up on my favorite area that I wanted to see, technically where I wanted to stay, but we got Fantasia. You can only, you could request rooms, of course, but nothing is guaranteed, and it's obviously a popular week over here since we came here the Friday after Thanksgiving. So we got Fantasia, which is fine, but. I at least want to see the duck, uh, the Mighty Ducks, one of my favorite movies of all time. I at least want to see the area, show it to you guys, but I also want to see it for myself and see their pool area. So you can see here it says Duck Pond coming up here. So we'll see how this area looks over here. It is pretty early in the morning. It's like uh, 11 a.m. So it's a little quiet out here as far as the pool activity is. It's also only 60 degrees right now. It's going to be 75 later on, but right now it's only 60. So. Here it is, the duck pond pool. Look at that Mighty Ducks. That looks freaking fantastic. Look at that thing in the corner. Looks freaking fantastic. Donald Duck, Daisy. Fantastic. Look at that giant Mighty Ducks symbol over there. The pool is open. Look at the goalie and stuff. Look at the uh, player penalty period box over there that they have in the corner. As you guys can see, and another giant helmet over there as well. And then they got the two giant goal posts over there too. As you guys can see there in the corner. So it's really, really cool how they uh, designed this area for people who are Mighty Ducks fans. It looks really awesome. And then it has the, like I said, you can see the two giant goals there in the back. You can see the pucks are actually in the net if you look over there closely see how there's like two nets there at the corner which is really cool with the pucks in the top right and then the rooms obviously have pucks on them and then the hockey sticks the mighty duck symbol that says in yellow those are hockey sticks attached to the room so definitely look really looks really cool uh for the mighty ducks theme i really like it wish we would have gotten this area uh but like i said it's a busy week so not surprised so yeah, you can see this area is really cool. So we're walking back now. We have officially transferred over our luggage. It's really cool while you're here because you can actually give them your luggage when you're staying at two resorts like we are. So we just checked out, we gave them our luggage. They actually bring it to your room by five o'clock to another hotel that you stay at. So we're transferring over now to the Caribbean Beach Resort. There is two ways you could probably do it. You could do it the, the faster way, which is just taking an Uber, which is what we're gonna do. But you could also, if you want to, just actually come over there and take the buses to like Disney Springs, for example. And when you get to Disney Springs, you could just transfer to one of the buses that goes to that hotel. Because there's obviously not going to be a shuttle here at the hotel that's going to bring you directly to one of those one of those areas. Because obviously the, the shuttles, when you're at this hotel, are going to the different parks and stuff. So you're not going to be able to go to a hotel from here. But you could go to Disney Springs if you want to save like 13 bucks uh, for an Uber ride. Uh, which is what it's costing us. It's costing us $13 to get from movies, um, all-star movies from here right to the Caribbean Beach Resort. So we're just going to pay it and screw it. But... If you wanted to save that $13, you could technically go to Disney Springs and then catch one of the buses there. Because it's not like they ask you where you're going. You just get on the bus and that would be fine. It would just take you, you know, obviously longer to do it that way, but also save you money. So either way it works. All right, so here's the room that we just walked into. We were a little nervous because we walked into one bed. Then we realized that there's like a Murphy style bed over here in the corner. You kind of just like pull this down, which we'll do later. And that's where the other bed comes in. We got a nice big TV, which I like. Nice, like, I don't know, 50 inch, whatever this is. Nice little Disney advertisement there to show you everything that's going on, which I always like to see. A little counter space. Of course, the other bed here. We got a little Mickey and Minnie and Donald sitting up there above the bed. Got a bathroom. Nice 
a shower, toilet, sink, hangers. So yeah, this is a pretty nice room. Obviously it's not that big, but that's why this is the uh, value resort. All right guys, I just wanted to show you guys real quick the bed that actually comes down. So when I showed you guys the video of the room before, of course we didn't have the bed down. Now you can see the two beds are up. Uh, you can see what the background looks like. It's actually pretty cool when you have the Donald Duck and stuff all over there. All the characters on there in the background, which is really cool. Um, so the bed is actually pretty cool. The fact that it opens up like that and has that uh, background like that. So pretty cool in the room. Worked out pretty well for four people. Walking to the food court. Just thought I'd show you this crazy like stuff that they have going on. Look at this gigantic hat. So it's a hat that you can go through and stuff. That's why the room was. And then you got this gigantic thing over here. Really cool. Pool seems active. So here we are at the main food court for Disney's All-Star Movie Resort. Uh, it's called World Premiere. They do have a lot of different sections here where you can go ahead and eat at. So I think there's a good variety of options for people. Uh, the vibe is pretty good in here. It, it, it's it's pretty big. It has it's, it kind of feels like a giant cafeteria. There's a lot of different tables where people can eat and stuff. And again, there's like different like kiosks that you can go up to to kind of get different food. They have everything from hot dogs to hamburgers you know, pizza, small desserts that you can pick up and, and all the kind of stuff that you kind of would expect uh, when you're going through here. So you can see all the different areas. They all have their own different food. They have pizza as well. Uh, you can see some of that here as we're going by. Uh, Majestic. Uh, they have a lyric. So it's kind of all themed to, you know, the movies and stuff, which is why this is called All-Star Movie Resort. So everything has a certain theme to it uh, with a different name and, and different food at, at each different location. And the prices were... You know, not not too bad. Obviously, it it wasn't anything crazy. Expect you know what you would expect at Disney places, and uh, but not anything too exorbitant uh, coming into here. And they and the food is pretty decent when we get here, so I was pretty happy with it. So that was our stay at Disney's All Star Movie Resort. Now, again, this is one of the cheaper hotels that you can definitely stay at in the Disney Resort. Uh, you can usually get this from anywhere from $100 to $250 a night, depending on the time of season that you go. And it is a valley resort. There's not a ton of variety or anything like that. It has that one made food court and stuff like that. Uh, the property is not overly huge or anything, but it does exactly what you would want it to do when you're trying to just go to Disney and be inside Disney, but not pay an exorbitant amount of money. And I think it did just that. The room was pretty good. Uh, the, the detail on all the different things like the Mighty Ducks area, the 101 Dalmatians is kind of what sells this resort for me. If you have like kids and stuff like that, one of these all-star resorts is definitely going to be your best bet because I feel like it feels more Disney than most of their other deluxe resorts. Uh, if that's what you care about as a Disney theme, this is definitely the one to stay at.